Alright, I'm back. Um, the reason why I ended the uh, last video abruptly at the end of the fight was because, <coughs> excuse me, was because I probably didn't have enough time to say my final thoughts before before the clip ended. So this is just this is just that this is my final. So this this final video is my final thoughts conclusion. And an additional to map since I have since I now have access to it now. Um, okay, so my my final my my thoughts about it or my impression of it is Final Fantasy 16 is a it's a fun game, very theatrical and dramatic in the battles. Um, will I give it the high praise that is receiving now? I think not it doesn't mean it's a it's, it doesn't mean it's worth uh recognition over but i wouldn't give it goes so far as to give it as high praise as it seemed as uh as everybody's making a scene there is some general overall improvements the game can be done my my improvements i think it can be done is It's the icon uh, switching. I feel like the icon should be, should be like, be able to be toggled by holding L2 and switching the buttons, or switching the icons with the uh, directional buttons to make it easier to snap to the icon you really want to use instead of have to keep switching to get to the one you want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, camera focus. I feel like the camera focus can be. Pull back more when you're in fighting, especially in small enclosures, so you can see more enemies on screen when you're when you're surrounded by several enemies at once. Because then that makes for cheap shots, and that makes it gets really frustrating when you're trying to avoid attacking and you can't see when the enemy's going to hit you. Um, what else? Um, hmm. I guess I guess you could have more enemies on the field supposedly I mean there's sometimes a point where it's like a lot of open space and you take out the enemies in the area and then it's usually you're just running around especially when you're just trying to get some experience and you're just running around and looking for a next enemy fight. Even though they do somewhat respawn, you usually have to leave and then go back to the area or go to another area instead of just you know keep hovering around. Since there's this is this isn't a world map, you can't like you know just sit and wait f for enemies to respawn. So I think they probably could add more enemies on the field to give the world a more, you know, lifelike feel to it. Uh, what else I think the game can be improved upon? I mean, so far, that's, that's, those are my really only complaints with the game. Like I said, the game's not bad at all whatsoever. It's just, it's jarring to play Final Fantasy with a Devil May Cry combat scheme. Really jarring. Even though it's fun and engaging and is and is enjoyable, it's still jarring nonetheless. Like I mean, a lot of people probably felt the same way with Final Fantasy fifteen when it came out, when it went straight all all action oriented. It, it was weird because the magic was relegated to containers or jars or whatever which was odd in the first place the drawing system really don't bother me that much I mean I me mean, I mean usually for, for what you know out of Final Fantasy you usually just you usually find magic on the field or you buy it from a vendor when it becomes accessible <coughs> but but most Final Fantasy 
it's generally the same way. Whether you gotta buy it, find it, or draw it, you're still getting magic. My my only problem with 15 when it comes to magic is how much limited how much a limit it was. Like you literally just technically only had lightning, ice, and fire. That was that was it. You had no earth. You had no arrow. You had um no darkness, no light. And you barely had healing healing besides potions and stuff whatnot and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So it was very he heavily limit limited and that's the only part I didn't like about it. You know what I'm saying? But the the magic still somewhat over applied. You can get magic, you can upgrade it, you know what I'm saying, expand it, even uh Add, add uh, status to buffs as an additional effect on, on the magic. But in this one, it's it's not that much different. Like you can't like add no additional the buffs stat to your magic. You pretty much simply just have a single shot magic spell. You know what I'm saying? You can't upgrade it to like Faraga or like Fear. I mean, you're like Faraga. All you can do is upgraded to like fire to fira when you uh charge the shot and that's that's pretty much it which not so much of a big deal but that's pretty much all you get you know what i'm saying um let's see what else one one i'm playing i, I do have is they didn't have they didn't have a, a Pacific icon that's a fucking Final Fantasy staple. I don't know how long this icon been in the series. I haven't played every single one. I mean, I haven't got far in every single one to know how far this uh, summon goes back. But this summon is very vital and important to um, Final Fantasy, and I'm surprised they didn't ha have it in the have it in the game. I mean, they technically just have the base uh, summons, which most of them you, uh, you, you typically expect to see in every almost every Final Fantasy game. So that was that's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to think of something, but I can't really think, think of anything. I mean, like I said, Final Fantasy can use Final Fantasy 16 can be used. Uh, to some upgrades or update or patches or something to improve the gameplay a little more. Other than that, I don't necessarily have a problem with, with the game in itself. So if I was to give Final Fantasy a, a ranking out of 1 out of 10, I would probably give Final Fantasy 8 a probably a, a 8 8.5 that's <clears throat> that's good because i mean it's, it's better than average is but at the same time it's not wholly godlike you know what i'm saying so yeah I, I i guess the respectable and more accurate rating for it would probably be an 8 an 8.5 i would give it a 9 if the game uh the, if the gameplay mechanics were improved upon a little bit Especially came with camera control. Like so far, Final Fantasy only got received one update, and one update didn't really change or improve anything upon the fighting mechanics. All it did was add some features, which was uh, more uh, controller layout uh, setups, um, motion blur, and a cam a camera toggle, like. Eh. Like, this this is the one, wait, no. Okay, this is the one you uh, start off with, just this, and then they added a uh, player follow movement, and then player follow attack. I, I usually had this on when I had locked on targets, but I turned it off, and then I tried this, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it, and then I turned this on, because it has that more uh, DMC feel when it comes to the camera control. 
So this is why it feels more natural to me to have that on, <clears throat> have that on. And I don't know, and I feel like it works better for me, but I still feel like they should add like a, uh, hold up, let me check something. Let me check. Yeah, it doesn't have like a a zoom in or a zoom out, which is odd because they gave you that in Final Fantasy 7 Remake and uh, Final Fantasy uh, 15. You was able to adjust the camera. Granted, it wasn't like you no know, uh, a manual adjust, but at least they gave you a, a choice to have it close, medium, and far. You know what I'm saying? They should at least gave you that option in 16. Hopefully, in time, they will add it. One thing, I ha one thing, not necessarily a bad thing for me, but I know a lot of people usually when it comes to certain requirements, prefer a much more in-depth uh, gathering crafting system in games. This this one is very very simplistic when it comes to crafting weapons like very simplistic like when you start off the game well weapons and gear I should say okay so when you start off the game you start off with the Imperial Infantry Blade just that not not the plus one but just just the blade and then the first weapon you can buy is the uh, broadsword so as you progress through the game you can upgrade the broadsword up to uh plus three once you beat the game and start a new game plus then you could uh upgrade it to uh plus four and then upgrade it upgrade it one more time to its max level of broadsword uh broadsword reforged you know i'm saying so once you once you uh, upgrade uh, upgrade certain weapons, which is mostly the three weapons, you can um, <clears throat> it'll become reforged, as you can see right here, and then you'll still have the uh, I think you'll still have like the plus four, and at that point, once you like upgrade it to the max, then you can just sell the plus four, and that'll get you a nice bit of change. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to um, the purple weapons, I don't know if you could upgrade them. As you can see, it says Invictus plus one, which I didn't upgrade it. I got this when uh, I had um, completed the story mode. Complete, I, when I completed the main story uh, and started a new game plus, and when I got to the certain part of uh, the game, I automatically got this. So I don't know if these, I don't know if the purples are upgraded and the blues, the blues apparently can be upgraded, as you can see. But I don't. But I'm trying to think if I can get this uh, Gaia Blade Reforged plus uh, Gaia Blade Reforged. Let me let me check. Wait, let me let me uh. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, she... Speaking of Oriflam, are you the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tie as Borbile tea. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Alright, so she don't have necessarily anything new new. 
see I'm busy here. What do you want? Uh, flame tongue we forged. Wait, so I have to, I have to use my, oh fuck. No scratches, right? Uh, no. Now I have to get another flawless wind shard to get the storm cry reforged. God damn it. Alright. Wait. Alright, let me see. Um. Okay, so I need that. I I oh, still need the uh, flawless dragon talon. Wait. Okay, I don't have it. I was gonna say, all right. So that's that's cool. That's cool. What about here? Uh. But yeah. A flawless Minotaur main. Hmm. I, I, mm. Yeah, but <clears throat> yeah, so I can't upgrade the the Gaia Gaia Blade which means it's probably going to take more po <coughs> excuse me, possibly another another playthrough to get this weapon well not, not exactly another playthrough I just probably need to uh, play through the game play through the game now as it is <coughs> excuse me and um wait to I can uh, wait till I get that flawless uh, Minotaur main. That it. Fine. Okay, so. Five was it? So so yeah, I already have a, a additional side quest as you can see, under the, uh, my main my main scenario quest. Uh, but let me get another one so you can you can see how. It work how it works on here, cause like I said, it's it's similar, to, to wholly similar to Final Fantasy, fourteen. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then... I ask a favor of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will hither and yon. Me? Oh, Lord. Fuck. Jesus. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall. And I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quint, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Alright, now tell me if that shit doesn't remind you of doing a side quest in Final Fantasy fourteen. I mean you you can't not deny that. That just has a so so fourteen quest feel. 
But anyway, I'm gonna do the uh, red letter day first since I already had that beforehand. But now I could talk about the uh, map. So the map in itself is similar to a cross between Final Fantasy 14 and uh, Final Fantasy 12. Like. Alright, um, okay, so, oh shit. Okay, so you surprised, this is the whole map right here. Now, where it's similar is, you teleport to each location through the, or, I mean, through these obelisks, which is pr pretty much wholly similar to, uh, the, uh, the Etherite in, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen or the teleportation stones in Final Fantasy twelve. But the thing is, as you can see there's a border, like these little see these little chain borders to each uh each section. And they they represent one whole area. So it's not like so it's not like how in uh in twelve where you just go to one area and it's just one massive big area I mean one massive big location at different sections it's it's like 14 where you go to a uh, area and it's one whole big area so so for example these are all connected to one air one area they're not like different locations just small locations you go to they all equal up to one whole big area and um they just teleport you to different sections within that whole area which I'm about to do right now now mind you you see the four uh, obelisks that was in that section part of the map right see the same same for obelisk that was on the map so like I said it's not just different they're not just different sections this is they're just all connected to one whole big area in that one world section I'm saying and it's a lot it's a lot of ground you could uh, well it's not a lot of ground but it's it's enough ground to cover to make it feel like a complete area so that's why I was saying it's more similar to uh 14 and in, in that respect but let me do let me do this live quest so I don't waste too much time the courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales I better keep my eyes open good looks like I'm in the right area The lost supplies. <laughs> I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still, no sign of his letter, though. We've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing? Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Wait, didn't the other boys say mention Lost Wing? So I can do probably do one uh I can knock out two birds with one stone. See like the world looks pretty gorgeous and fully expanded. And it makes it feel more. 
it makes it feel more um more alive you know what i'm saying compared to the massive open world of 15 and it was just not much enough to see to make the world feel like it was living a living habitat if you feel if you get what i'm saying it's just enough to make the world feel natural but not too much to make it feel empty and drab you know what i'm saying Oh, as you can see, Jill is now finally with me. And just to let you know, she's the uh, dominant of Shiva. It seems we have a culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. But what will we do for supper? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off? Let me see if he got anything to buy. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Okay, nope. 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 Got that. Keep fighting the good fight. Alright. Sun setting fast. Ah. If it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter? Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Oh, uh, as you can see, you can also pet Torgal. You get an achievement and a trophy for it, too. Him. That is, if you do it enough times, anyway. But why would you not? The boy been, been boy's like a second-hand rider. Always by your side, always holding you down. Oh yeah, I should mention that you get speed. You get speed. I think from the get go, so you don't have to like upgrade it. You don't have to like up, up purchase it like in Devil May Cry Five. You just get it right from the get go. But you can only use it outside uh, towns. Men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but 
breathless sod insisted on drawing them off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. We have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Okay, she's actually doing damage. So I think I understand the uh, I forgot so I was supposed to rechange uh rechange my um ability. Flawless bone necklace. Hmm. Do I need that for anything? I guess I'll check when I get back. Now there's several enemies at several key like locations where there might be hidden chests in the area like this right here. And goddamn, I keep getting to change my iconic abilities. Give them all you've got. 
Like I said, the place. I mean, the visuals look gorgeous. I don't. I, I don't know which one I say better. I feel like this can be can, this can be Final Fantasy 15 gorgeous, but the visuals of the characters itself, Final Fantasy pretty pretty much still got them in that as uh, in that aspect. Like you can see where the characters look somewhat. game detailed but at the same time not visually almost as detailed as 15 but I mean they still look pretty damn impressive oh, oh also I forgot to mention about the situation is now I understand the situation with the uh, AI allies the reason I, I think the reason why Sid wasn't really doing much and wasn't doing damage when I was in the uh, arcade run is because it was mainly focused on me and doing the damage and uh you know doing as you know for my performance seeing how well i can do with uh getting through the uh the stage and that's and i think that's the reason why he wasn't doing damage but i noticed jill was doing damage so it will probably be the same way with uh sid if and like in the um in a stage replay compared to the uh, arcade run so that kind of makes more sense now Before I, yeah, before I forget again. Um, yeah, because I want to have a, a single target and AOE situation going on. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, yep. But but at least you get the concept of how the uh, enemies function in the game. Like, see, once you like somewhat clear the area, the area is cleared. But they'll respawn the next time you come back out here. So it's like never not no enemy in the area after you clear it. That's what I like because you can't replay stage. I mean, like you can't you can replay stages, but you know what I mean. You can't like go back to the area, the stage itself. Like, all right, let me explain. Um, go to the map real quick. Like, okay, see, this is a uh, Care Norvin, right? And this is where I think the um. The, the stage was, I think.
I think. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, but you can't go back to like just the, you can't go back to the stages, but you can replay them. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's somewhat a minor win-win situation. Like say you want to go back just to take down enemies, just for some experience gain. You you even though you can't like necessarily go back directly to the uh, place, but you can redo the stage over as many times as you want, just for some experience gain. But I just note that you won't get as much experience as you did it the first time. You'll get probably about like half the experience. Or a fraction of the experience, I should say. told me what happened and I can't help but notice you're alone damn it I feared as much he's not far from the south gate I trust you'll do right by him of course I'll send someone right away I knew he was brave no, I didn't know he was reckless Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Right, now I gotta go back to the hideaway. At least I don't have to worry about spending money to go to each one each time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or spending gill, I mean. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Bank. Finished, are you? Alright. Let's see if I can... Uh... I see I'm busy here. Yeah? What's that for you, dear? Nope. Wait, let me check the well, accessories. So will it be? Oh, and yep, nope. Wanted to send a message. Maybe I should just own up to what Owen said. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. Uh, 
No more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> but all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? <sighs> if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keep Sid sane while she's away. You never mentioned a daughter. Oh, well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Yeah, sometimes you'll get, uh, you'll get, um, side quests from here or somewhere out in the world. It depends how far you get in the game. Sometimes shit will, uh, you know, the little green joints will pop up at one of these areas. I'm saying, but yeah, that's how, that's how pretty much the game functions. Like I said, not a bad game. It's not a bad game, but I won't call it holy great, holy great Final Fantasy game. But it, I can I can say it is a lot more enjoyable than Final Fantasy uh, 16. And what I mean by that means it has that more classic Final Fantasy feel of it that I I, I respect. Even if even the combat is different, it still got that classic Final Fantasy feel to it, which is which isn't necessarily a good or bad thing. It's just that shit you expect from a Final Fantasy game. You know I'm saying, I would tell people if you're really interested, try the demo at least. That way you can. I mean, the demo is not. It's not the overall game, obviously. It's just more a basic structure of the combat and what you expect from the combat. You know what I'm saying? I want to like say that once you get once you get the grasp of how the combat is, then you would you see yourself playing that for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Playing that from start to finish. And as I mentioned before, I, which I think I mentioned, since I did these few videos, I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, but since I am a Final Fantasy person, it was somewhat mandatory for me to get this anyway. But if you're not a Final Fantasy person, or if you're selective on what Final Fantasy you play, play the demo. I mean, there's no harm in it, it's free, and it's a basic concept of what you can expect within the game. There's no harm in that, if you're into it. But, but opposed to, but as opposed to what uh, the pride praise is getting, again, I don't think it deserves the high praise it's getting just yet. Maybe if, maybe if it do a, a few more up, a few more updates, then possibly. Luckily, so far this has been the uh, only final current Final Fantasy that hasn't seen an update. I mean, a DLC, but there is rumors that it might possibly be be one, possibly small, small, slight rumor that if. But mostly, uh, Naoki Yoshida said that if people wanted a DLC, then it will be. It's a possibility it could happen. But he said that's only if enough people want a DLC. And I feel like instead of doing a DLC, I feel like you could probably do an expansion. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is, oh, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. But see, that's going to be an issue to add an uh, uh, after aftermath and after an expansion and shit. So I don't see. I don't see how, or I was curious to see how they will handle that. 
But yeah, that's that's pretty much all. That's pretty much anything and everything I would have to share or say about DLC. I mean, about I said about DLC. Let's say about Final Fantasy 16 without any giving any spoilers or whatnot. And again, it's up to you to decide if you want to play it or not. I'm gonna leave that all up to you. So I'm gonna end it right here. And you figure you have a concept of if you might see yourself enjoying this or not.